So uh, it's true. I'm not saying that I'm not gonna make errors anymore. Errors are natural. It's something we we all do. But as I said, depending on what perspective you hold of errors, it can they can either be helpful to you, or or they cannot. <laughs> This is Ciprian G at the present and precise moment of 4.36 p.m. on the 29 March 2018 documenting step number 26 out of the book Steps to Knowledge uh, which is channeled by Marshall Vian Summers. I should have done this stuff yesterday but I had some things to do and I couldn't make it but Essentially, one practice I did it yesterday and one practice I did it this morning at like 6, 6 a.m. So, uh, it's, it's fine, I guess. So, step, step on number 26, it's called My Errors Give Birth to My Knowledge. My Error Gives Birth to My Knowledge. It's an inter interesting step. It's two 30 minutes practice periods and uh, I write. Uh, practice number one. So, bless, blessed is the man that does not condemn himself for that which he has allowed. Blessed is the man that does not condemn himself for that, sh that which he has allowed. Uh, allowing some things in our personal life we can judge as bad and yeah I guess it's stuff we don't like but if we condemn for self uh, if we condemn ourselves for that then I guess uh, it doesn't help it, it just makes the situation worse so by not condemning yourself for that which you have allowed in your life you are blessed because then you are in a good position to change that which is which already you allowed in your life so yeah yeah that's pretty good uh, errors are indeed a part of the journey towards truth yeah. <laughs> and as long as we don't justify them but make out of them a learning experience we are growing coming closer to the realization and experience of truth god so yeah if you take errors as uh, as something bad like um, if you don't look at them from perspective of learning then errors are just something which you don't want to do but errors is what we all do i mean in this human experience errors are pretty common and frequent and uh, the only way to benefit from them is to actually <clears throat> is to actually see them as a learning experience and whenever you make an error look at it as a um, as a teacher kind of that's showing that's telling you that's not the right way look look in another direction look in another I don't know thing so errors are not bad it's just the perspective which you hold of them that's pretty good as well i can see how the many errors i have done paved the way for me as i choose to learn from them to find myself in god which is not two but one now i guess this has been a lot of my mind since, since i'm recalling it in like almost every step uh, this three last steps i've been recalling it a lot because that's that's where my mind is right now but um yeah it's true like looking at all the errors i did so far uh the fact that i did look at them and i understand i understood that they were errors allowed me to move in another direction and eventually find my way to god which is not separate but it's one with me and with every one of us pretty good pretty good so i guess that was practice number one and practice number two which i did uh which i did uh, this morning at around 6 a.m uh, i write thus each error I made and the suffering that c 
comes that uh, each error I made and the suffering that came with it helped me revalue what what I was doing uh, and in which direction I was going thus helping me become the man that I am today so uh, it's true I'm not saying that I'm not gonna make errors anymore errors are natural it's something we we all do but as I said depending on what perspective you hold of errors it can they can either be helpful to you or, or they cannot uh, as everything in this life uh, errors are a tool and you can use it you can use them for growth or you can use them for distractions uh, that's your choice conscious or unconscious uh, yeah you have to sort that out for yourself um, one, one uh, significant error was to give my creative power to external things, thinking that those were the factors that influenced the life I was living. But this error helped too. Uh, it made me eventually come into, an, into and understand to a certain degree uh, the true law, the true law of our being, which is that I and my father are one. Again, we return to the same uh, to the same point. But as I said, this has been on my mind quite a lot lately. So that's why uh, I guess I'm um, I'm coming back to it in like every fucking thing I write. And it's probably gonna be happening for some more steps, but it's not. It's not a bad thing. It's a. It's actually like reiter reiteration for me. So that's really good. But uh, as I say here, yeah, one uh, one big error that we all make, uh, essentially all make until until we come until we search enough for the truth to find it, it's that uh, we give our creative power to external things thinking that external things are the factors that determine our life that um, make our life what it is that made our life what it is not knowing that the truth is that we actually made our own life by uh, by our focus of attention but by uh, what we choose to get impressed by by what we choose to give our attention to and uh, stuff like that it's all about consciousness it's all about where you place your focus on of attention and intention and uh, stuff like that uh, but yeah when you actually come i mean as i came into that notion I, it's, it's not like I fucking believed it right away. I had to, to look at my own life and see if that was the case. And, uh, and at first it wasn't that uh, obvious, but you know, putting, putting this thing into practice, this law, and uh, actually also like looking uh, at past experience, so experiences of my own life, I could see that it's actually true uh, what we choose to to give our attention or creative power or um, intense feelings and emotions to that's what uh, actually gets externalized into the physical world in which we live sometimes not always but for now that's that's what happens so um then this was a really interesting step you know i mean every step seems to be fucking interesting but uh as i said this one was interesting as well and uh as i said it's re a reiteration because many of these concepts i have i have been dealing with like I've been uh, I've enjoyed philosophy quite a lot uh, prior to doing these steps to knowledge, and uh, I have been already into the concept that errors and uh, gener in general speaking, what you make out of everything in life, or like how you use them, it it can be either helpful or it can be destructive. 
it can be creative or destructive it depends the way that you use it same thing with a fork same thing with a knife same thing with a fucking lighter for that reason so um yeah i guess this has been step number 26 it's been uh it's been really good let me know if you agree with some of the things i said if you don't agree uh, maybe we can start a conversation and uh, I guess talk about that Your choice, baby always so uh, yeah, this has been Cyprian G at the present and precise moment of 447 and uh, Documenting some numbers 26 from the book step of knowledge and I thank you for being here and Cyprian G is out Bam.